Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a junk journal with me video and I'm working in this beautiful junk journal that I purchased from Johanna Clough. Um, she also goes as uh, Little Bindi on Etsy but if you're into junk journals I'm sure you are aware of her already and she makes beautiful beautiful journals and wonderful inspirational YouTube videos. But as always, I will post the information to the people mentioned in the description down below. I use this journal more for my personal uh, journaling for my kids and so I don't really share too much of it on YouTube. But I thought I would look for a, um, like I thought I would do a spread in here just to show you uh, what I've been doing. I decided to work on this page spread here and took some happy mail bits things that I received in happy mail and I wanted to use those bits and put them in my journal so now I'm just cutting up these pictures I get this question often is how I print my photos I just use a an app to make like a four a four photo collage and then I just print them on uh, they're called hagaki paper but they're just postcard sized paper and I, it's a pack of I think 50 or something like that from Daiso. I'm just cutting out the really, really cute stamps. Uh, I've received some happy ma mail from Midai Cat on Instagram, and so I cut those beautiful stamps out and put them in the slot there. You can see the window cut out, and I thought it would be nice to showcase these beautiful stamps. Because the top was a little bit long, I just folded over and then cut across the crease. And then I'm, I'm inserting the uh, little letter there on the back, but I actually end up uh, using a different piece of the Happy Mail to house the letter, but you'll see that a little bit later on. And then I decide to carefully remove these two pages. They're just too pretty and too cute uh, to use as a like a backdrop, and I just wanted to keep it for other like an other journal other journal purposes so I decided to cut it out I don't know how Johanna is going to feel about it but I actually end up doing this often is if I find like paper that I really really like I'll end up ripping some pieces out of the journals but anyways <laughs> I decided to keep those papers for myself and this is a plastic bag that I received part of the happy mail from Mirai Cat I decided to make a pocket out of it and so I cut off the edge there and I'm using just some clear tape to close it off to make it into a pocket. It's going to be like a pocket tip-in and this is where I actually end up housing the pink envelope with the letter. I'm attaching this uh, plastic pocket with some washi tape as you can see there and because it is kind of flimsy I decided to actually washi tape both ends so that they're that it's nice and secure in the journal. So I decided to actually, I didn't want to lose this letter in the pocket. I felt like if I left it in there because the letter was small and because I wouldn't be able to see it, I would lose it somehow. And I kind of like the interactive ways of junk journaling and how you can kind of flip things out and tuck things here and there and I like the interactiveness of junk journals so I decided to attach some really pretty yarn from Avril and I purchased this Avril yarn from Cute Things from Japan and I end up stapling uh, this yarn to the corner of the envelope just I think I attached two staples to it so that it's nice and secure and I kind of want the yarn to peek through um, so that I remember that there's something actually inside the plastic bag that I can pull out. So now I am flipping through some wallpaper bits and these wallpaper bits are from the Rebookery. She's also on Etsy as well as YouTube also very very talented and so I decide to use one of the wallpaper bits for the background for my photo and I'm once again using the papers from the scrap paper booklet from two silver oranges and 
you know me, I like to layer things and I decided to layer this, I, th I, th I think it's like glassine paper. I decided to attach or um, apply some glassine paper on the back, even though it's not very bold in color, it just kind of, um, I just noticed that there's lots of layers on top and it, yeah, it just adds to the background. So I attached or I adhered some <laughs> glassine paper to the back and then also some washi tape to the bottom border there and stuck the photo and the wallpaper bit to the page. Here is acrylic, an acrylic stamp from uh, Palest Blue and of course she's also on YouTube and if you don't know she also has an Etsy shop where she sells some of her artwork and uh, these wonderful clear acrylic stamps. Please note I'm horrible at this stamping. It's, it's user error. It's not the stamp at all. I tried to, uh, I applied the ink and I edited this part out but I, I actually stamp off to the page first because I didn't want uh, the dark ink to come, like I didn't want it to be too, too dark. So I ended up stamping off to the side and then stepping it onto the journal. But it's totally user error and of course the back side it's quite bumpy with the different layers in the journal so anyways I stamped some leaves on there to add a bit of like a border to the photos and to add something to the page and now I am just tipping in a photo of my daughter she this is quite a while ago I want to say maybe one or two months ago and she's just been making these funny faces I think she copies my son and yeah, so I just took a picture of her funny face. So the scrap paper that I used earlier, like the, the glassine uh, paper, I decided to use part of that paper that was left over and um, I decided to create a simple tab. It's like a junky tab, I guess. I don't know what it's really called, but um, I just wanted to add a tab to the photo of my daughter so that I remember that it's like a flip up or it's a tip in. And to adhere these two small scraps of paper, I just added some washi tape, the same washi tape that I used for the bottom border right there, and that's the scrap paper tab. <laughs> really simple and easy. And it's a great way to use up your scraps and little, even if it's like a tiny little piece of paper, it's really great to still use that in your journal by adding little tabs here and there. It's really easy and simple. I just ended up uh, adding more of the same washi tape to the top border just to tie things up a bit and to... I felt like that it was a little bit empty at the top so I added some washi tape there and this is uh, once again a beautiful vintage wallpaper scrap from the rebookery and I'm just using that to as a backdrop for my photo of my son and I believe I glue that to the ledger paper right there in the middle that will allow me to journal about this photo. Once again, I'm using the same washi tape on this page as well. I tend to do that. I tend to use a lot of the same washi tape throughout the journal spread to just tie, to just tie things uh, in together. And I'm using the same concept with these scrap papers ripping up the glassine paper and the other uh, cream colored paper and using the same same washi tape again to create that same tab um, but this time in a little bit bigger size I staple a couple staples there and just create a simple scrap paper tab there and it all ties in I think it allows me to uh, there's still a lot of uh, journaling space there that I can use for journaling but Anyways, this is my journal spread. There's also a quiet version. Some people don't like me chatting through these videos. So if you're interested in the quiet, non-speaking version, I, I will link the link down below in the description. But I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so very much. I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.